Wow, this disgusting. cupcake is busting. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another dun dun mukbang. So I'm excited because today we have a giant red velvet cupcake. Is it a cake? Is it a cupcake? But technically, is it just a cake that I paid overpriced for? And then we also have some fried chicken, Korean fried chicken with these Korean kimchi loaded fries with these kimchi mac and cheese, mm -hmm. these kimchi fried chicken sandwiches with something that looks very similar. Who's that? Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. It's from Grandma Ursula from Merge Mansion Avenue. I got a package. Weird things have been happening. Uh, I saw a lot of people, there's a lot of discourse on Grandma. Is she guilty? Is she innocent? It seems like she's hiding a lot of stuff in her mansion. I mean, everybody hides stuff in their mansion. I do not think, what does this say? Oh, <laughs> it's Grandma! Oh, Look at this! She sent me the gosh. cutest picture. I love her. That's I think adorable. she's honey. Yes. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Did you see what's in there, Dana? What is it? What? <laughs> Rick, how much is it? It says definitely not a bribe. I mean, I don't know why I would ever assume what the, that it wait, is. What? Some grandmas hug. Some grandmas bake. Some grandmas have secret phone calls to make. Dear Stephanie, I'm writing because it seems like everyone is asking, what's grandma hiding? But unlike all the real criminals you talk and eat about, this is true, I'm completely innocent. Makes sense. Does it not make sense? Oh, for... Oh, Does it make sense? She's innocent, it guys. Makes sense. For I've sure. never, ever done anything shady. So could you tell all of your lovely fans very clearly, Grandma Ursula isn't hiding anything. Here's some encouragement money in the envelope too, honey. The only true crime here would be that you're not helping an innocent grandma, don't you think? Exactly. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Love Grandma 100%. Ursula. What a lovely grandma. I love her. P.S. Please have them hashtag these tags. Hashtag what's grandma hiding? Hashtag grandma isn't hiding anything. And hashtag I stand with grandma. That's so sweet. I mean, doesn't she look so lovely? And I feel like she, she always so does nice. like these right? cute little surprises where she sends me letters and I just feel like a, a guilty person wouldn't do that. <laughs> that like doesn't make any sense to me. Nah. So thank you, grandma. I stand with grandma. I me stand too. with grandma. Me too. And here's the thing. Everybody thinks grandma's innocent, but if you want to find out for yourself, because you don't want to take it from me, you want to do your own research, check out Merge Mansion. I'm going to link it in the description. So there's a lot of creepy mansions in this world. A lot of them but are grandma's abandoned. Is not yeah, it's not suspicious. even creepy. It's beautiful. It's Merge Mansion. There are so many mansions in this world that have tons of weird secrets. Like, for example, there's one in Taiwan called the Ghost Mansion. Now, this is a mansion with secrets. This is a mansion that's a little bit creepy. So this mansion is called Ghost Mansion because people believe that the longer that you stay in this abandoned mansion, if you go to visit, mm -hmm. let's say you and your teenage friends, you know, because I feel like you would only do this when you're a teenager, Go to this abandoned house. Okay. Can we eat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's eat first. We can eat. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, we can eat now? Yeah, we can eat. <laughs> yeah! She's so excited. <laughs> yeah! Honestly, the food's on grandma, so... Did I mention that? Should we... Oh. She's just the nicest grandma. She's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. Oh, my God. Mm, this Korean chicken. Oh, my God. Nothing goes wrong with Korean chicken. Mm -hmm. Grandma likes Korean chicken, you know? So mm. good. Mm. Mm. Like grandma. Wow. Oh my god. This is animal style sauce, guys. Mm hmm. Oh my god, the chicken is so good. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. I'm literally in shock. I so, think this um, might be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this someone's birthday? Like, why do we have that? <laughs> No, why do- is this like a combo thing? Like, I was just wondering, like, does chicken go well with cupcakes? I think so. I think it's the best combo. Let me try these fries. Mm. Oh my god! It's got these like kimchi french fries are on fire! Kimchi and french fry is a combo I did not know wow. I needed. It's so good. Mm. Oh, you know what that- corn. what? This? The corn is good? Oh yeah? Let me show you how I like to dip my chicken sandwiches. We got the hottest sauce in the world. Dude, it's the first time seeing kimchi with mac and cheese, guys. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to try this salad. It looks like a KBBQ salad. Hold on, let me try it with my chicken burger. 
Dang, you already ate that fast. Mm. Oh. Mm. I know. Mm -mm. Illegal. Put it on your burger. Mm. Right now. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Yo, this is the place, bro. Why is it so good? Oh, wow. Mmm. The salad's good, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, wow, these fries are so good. So the ghost mansion in Taiwan, mm. it was otherwise known as the Lu family mansion. And if you look at it now, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a mansion that's hiding secrets. It's pretty much taken over by nature. It almost looks like the trees and the vines want to take it back into their territory. It looks like it's been abandoned for years. And it was just, the way that it was done was bizarre. So this family, the Lu family, they have this massive mansion. They've been taking care of it for years. They've been living there happily with their children and their, you know, their maids and everyone. And then one day, out of nowhere, mm -hmm. they pack up their stuff, not all their furniture, and they just abandon the mansion. Now, they don't put it on the market. So let's say you have a mansion. You'd probably try to sell it if you're moving somewhere else right mm -hmm. or maybe if you want to keep it as like a vacation home I don't know what rich people do if you want to keep it as a vacation home maybe you would have someone take care of it you would you would do the upkeep the maintenance mm -hmm. but instead I mean they left it to literally rot and go to ruin so because of that a lot of the locals had all of these crazy different theories of what happened the first theory has to do with the maid now, I don't know if maybe there was a rumor that the maid was very beautiful or if the maid was involved in the family's lives, but a lot of these rumors surround her by the maid. So they say that the maid had fallen in love mm -hmm. with the husband of the house. So it's abandoned right now. Mm -hmm. okay. It's actually private property, but the owner doesn't really care if you go look at it, and there's a ghost cafe right next to it. Ghost cafe? We're kind of playing so into it. So what do you it. do there? I guess just you just chit chat with ghosts? Is that haunted too? Yeah, so I feel like everyone has to sit in front of an empty seat. No way. No way, bro. For real? <laughs> just Seems have like a conversation. Yeah. Is the business sense. booming? I think so. <laughs> it's always booming and there's always no tables, but there's nobody in there. They say the, the restaurant's full. Maybe the customers <laughs> are all anyone. ghosts. Yes. You don't see anyone, but they say, oh, sorry, we're full. <laughs> there's a one hour wait. They charge you a drink. Plus another drink. For the ghost. For the ghost. For you can't just buy one. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's drinks. good business right there. For the ghost. Or the ghost's gonna haunt you. The ghost is gonna leave the cafe with you. They're gonna be mad. No, the maid falls in love with the husband of the house and it's said that the wife finds out. Of course she does. I mean, they're living in the same house together. She's one raising the kids. This is bizarre. The wife finds out and the maid is so struck with grief and shame and she's just thinking to herself, what have I become? How could I break up a family like this? This is not who I am. And so she sees the nearby house well, where you get the water, mm -hmm. and she dives into it, head first, taking her own life. Now, the reason that they say that the mansion is haunted is not because she took her life on the premises, but because she realized that when she took her life, the husband moved on, almost as if she didn't exist. They got a new maid, they moved on with their lives, their rich lives, and they didn't even think about her. She was just collateral. She was nothing to them. And so every night she would climb out of the well to haunt the family to talk to them, to whisper in their air, to drag her wet hair through the hallways. There'd be a wet streak just through the hallways by the time it was morning. Wait, is she dead or still alive? She's haunting them. Kind of like a prank. Mm-hmm. Like a prankster. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a little troll. <laughs> but she a ghost. Uh -uh. <laughs> like a cute ghost. Would you ever date a ghost? Mm. Yeah. What if they look like twice? Like that, that I'll consider, maybe consider. I'll date you if you're a ghost, babe. Really? That's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so who's gonna cut into this cake? You. No, I can't do that. What? Oh. Oh. Chocolate? I did not expect that. Hmm. hmm. Okay, let me try this. Rip! What? What? It's so good. What? What? Is it okay to do this? We just, <laughs> we just <laughs> taking it. What? Honestly, pretty good. I love that you guys don't see any of it that we ate. Because <laughs> we all wait. <laughs> wow, it's actually so good. Wow. I'm mm -hmm. usually not a cupcake guy, but it's but when pretty... they're big enough, mm -hmm. you're into it. And then I'm going to eat a kimchi fry right after. You think we're the only ones that eat like this for the cupcake? Oh, yeah. I think we're wow, disgusting this cupcake foul is... people. Bussing. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. I can't stop eating. Mm-hmm. There's something inside. What? what I think that's red velvet, dude. Pink stuff. 
Mm, red velvet. <laughs> Do you see that? You got it. Oh, I did get some cream. Mm. What does it taste like? Should like I the outside. <laughs> <laughs> so of course she's haunting them because mm -hmm. why wouldn't you? I mean, you'd be pissed too. Like, are you kidding? My life means nothing to you. The other version of this theory, which by the way, it's not like they found a body in the well. This is just a theory that the locals have run with, which I think just adds to the mystery of the mansion. Another theory is that the wife actually persuaded, psychologically tortured the maid long enough until the maid decided, I can't do this anymore, I would rather take my own life. And she dove head first into the well. So regardless, it is said that someone had died on the premises and uh, now they are haunting the place. The longer that you stay inside of this abandoned house, if you are one of those abandoned house, you know, vloggers or whatever, right? Yeah. The sicker you get. So if, you know, there's going to be a huge difference between someone who stays in there for 10 minutes versus an hour versus two hours. Oh, shoot. They said that the sometimes people fall asleep in there and they end up with a lot of random illnesses that they can't exactly quite pinpoint, that they can't exactly find out where they got it or how it's even possible. Just bizarre stuff starts happening. I mean, it's a little strange. We moved the mac and cheese down because Dan Dan was being overshadowed, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ani, hi! You guys can like talk a little. We're not filming a Marvel movie over here. Marvel. Every time my family comes over, if I'm filming something, they, they're they so quiet. They like don't even want to come inside. And I'm like, no, guys, this real. is so casual. They're like tiptoeing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also, I mean, when there's places like Ghost Mansion in Taiwan existing, why are people so creeped out by Grandma's Mansion, by Merge Mansion? I mean, Merge Mansion has no secrets. And if it does, I'm sure it's pleasant ones. I mean, you can go find out for yourself, but I'm just saying. That's my opinion. Non-biased opinion. <laughs> I just don't understand. And this mansion blows my mind. I mean, people are all about Merge Mansion, but what about Linwood Manor, okay? Linwood Manor is probably one of the weirdest houses in the United States. Did you guys know a house like this exists? It has 110 rooms. It's what? about, I believe 30, no. Yeah, 30,000 square feet on the inside. It's a T-shaped mansion that at its, at its peak, at its prime, it had hundreds of acres. It took 60 full-time gardeners to keep the premise clean and manicured, mm -hmm. the lawn manicured. This is the real place of an investor of the Titanic. The Investor. Widener family. So Peter Widener decided that after his wife passed away, he needed to look for a place for him and his kids to live, to comfortably reside. So he gets an architect and they start constructing this massive building. I mean, this mammoth of a place. It's beautiful. It's truly wonderful. I mean, it is considered the last American Versailles. It's that big. Everything was top of the line. They had marble imported from Italy. The walls were velvet, marble. They had a grand ballroom that could fit 1,000 people at once. 1,000 freaking people at once. Here's the thing, it's abandoned. Why, why? It's abandoned. It's trying, to, it's one of those mansions that you would see on YouTube that's like, no one wants to buy this mansion even though it's only a dollar. Because to restore it back to its former yeah. glory would cost $50 million. Just think about the maintenance on these places. Yeah. But do you know who owns it right now? Someone owns it. Koreans. Really? The Koreans. I'm Korean. What do you mean, the Korean? The, the first Korean Church of New York owns it. What? That's literally their name, the first Korean Church of New York. Let's go, Korea! <laughs> Korea! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Okay. So does that mean... I don't know what that means. You own it too? I own it. <laughs> I own too. it for sure. Don't sue me. I own it. <laughs> the 110 rooms? Yeah. Imagine that. Yes. So this guy, you know, Peter Widener, he's like, okay, well, I need a place for me and my kids to comfortably reside. So it needs to be obviously 110 rooms. So they start building it and they start constructing it and it's really, really intense. And mm -hmm. by the time that it's done, they move in. I believe they had to have... 30 something full time staff to work there, literally just to like clean the house and to like change the light bulbs. This is back in the day, this is like the prime. It had everything, it had, it had its own electrical plant in the building. Because you know, back then, if you had a 110 room building, you needed like a full on power plant right next to it. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So they had to build all of that. The lawns, like you know, those mazes. Of bushes, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, got, yes. they have stuff like that. Yeah. They have you stuff want like one that. of those? I wanted one of those oh, mazes. It's like such a good idea if you were filthy rich and not watching horror movies ever. Because <laughs> oh imagine that at night. Oh heck no! Like, what if someone's hiding in there? You know, mm -hmm. 
Bro, he's trying to debone this chicken in one bite. I think you're struggling, Dan. <laughs> I don't think that you have what it takes. Well, that's good. That's a good one, Dan. Dan, I like it. <laughs> Honey, don't show off that. <laughs> okay. Yoink. Oh yeah. So, anyways, what kind of people own this type of mansion? I mean, how do they even afford 110 rooms? This doesn't make sense. The Widener family, they made their money in American steel and tobacco. Mm. And now the heirs, um, they are very world-renowned American thoroughbred horse racers. So they sell bread? <laughs> <laughs> Horse-shaped wow. bread. I find that rich people always go to horses. Very really? fascinating stuff. Yeah. I, I've never met someone who like rides a horse casually. Over steel and tobacco though? Bruh, did you know there's like million dollar horses? Did you know there's a tub of horse sperm that's like a million dollars? No way, you're lying. That's the most you're expensive lying. liquid. The most expensive liquid is not liquid gold, it's not liquid, it's not oil. It's literally horse sperm. What, why? You breed the breed sexiest it. horse. The sexiest, hottest, most expensive horse. Have you heard a song? I Old got the horses road. in the back. Ah! <laughs> See? That's what the song is about. Horse sperm. Mm. <laughs> So that's how they made their money, and they also invested in a lot of different things, like the Titanic. So this is where everything kind of goes wrong with the mansion. They're living there for a couple of years, just having a blast, throwing these massive parties. They actually had one of the biggest collections of private art in the United States at one point. They had, I believe, like 18 Rembrandts in their house. They had... Some other famous, very expensive artists, okay? Don't make me sit here and name them. Insane collection. Now, one day, mm -hmm. Peter, he invests in the Titanic. A sh crap ton of money. He's like, this is gonna be the best. Listen, I don't know what the Titanic was for. He was like, this is gonna be the best thing ever. This is gonna be the The, the movie feat. or the actual Titanic? The actual Titanic. Ah, he invested in the see? actual Titanic, right? What? So he That's puts his money investment. in it. Yeah, and so his eldest son mm. that was gonna inherit Linwood Mansion, he's on board the Titanic with his wife and their young son. Well, the son was like a teenager. So with their son, the whole family is there. They even throw a massive party on the Titanic to mm -hmm. celebrate his father's great investment of the Titanic. And the captain, Captain Smith, who was commandeering the Titanic, he was at this party. He was celebrating with them. Which, by the way, the captain is a whole nother story because there's so many conspiracies on if he's alive or if he was dead after the Titanic. I mean, that's a whole nother video. I'm sure there's a whole lot to the Titanic. If you want me to cover it, let me know, right? So Please I can do. like really dive into this and like get all my facts straight. I feel but, like you said that same thing like two years ago. I remember that video. Well, I guess I'm still waiting. wanted me to talk about the Titanic. <laughs> hey, it's been two years? No, I think yeah. people do. You do? Okay. I well, it's I, happening. I, I it's do. done. It's happening tomorrow. The day after. The day after. Okay. Anyways, the eldest son ends up passing away on the Titanic. Mm. So now nobody is going to get the mansion. Mm -hmm. So he's freaking out. A couple years later, Peter dies and it goes to another son. Now this other son is an avid art collector and he kind of just turns the entire manor, the entire mansion into an art house and has people come by appointment. Like you really treating it like a museum. You could go into the house and see the artwork if you made an appointment. I mean, that's kind of that's respectable. Kind of smart. Yeah, smart. kind of nice. I don't even think he was charging people. Like this was just his passion. And then once he passed away, None of the kids wanted the mansion. They wanted the inheritance, but uh, I mean, would you really want all that money and then just sink it into the house that mm -hmm, you probably yeah. don't even like and probably feels a little bit outdated now? And also, imagine living in a 110 room house. I can't. Can you believe it? I mean, I can't even, like, you would be so lonely and also very terrified and creeped out. So the mansion just kind of started to rot. Then multiple different people, uh, I was going to say stole it, but they <laughs> bought it. But it was essentially a steal. I mean, this, this is worth tens of millions of dollars. But someone bought it for, I believe, like $1.5 or $2.5 million okay. in today's money. Mm. And they sold everything inside. Like the, they took off all the walnut wall coverings. They took the marble. They put it up for auction. All the mantles, any of the crazy designs, like the architectural feats. They just took it off the walls and sold it. The only thing that really exists right now are um, some of the very extravagant room's ceilings. So those are kind of intact. Wow, they still have ceilings. Yeah, this is actually <laughs> the only, like truly one of the only very, very famous abandoned buildings that has no sign of graffiti because uh, there is a there's guard. there's no walls to, gra <laughs> no, to graffiti. No, there's on. a guard. 
Oh, so I believe, I mean, I'm sure that this person is working for the first Korean Church of New York, I'm assuming, because why else? I mean, someone's got to be paying them, right? But a guard lives there with a bunch of guard dogs. Okay, like That's Doberman? Creepy. I don't know. But occasionally, he will let in some YouTubers to vlog the place. Yo! So like there's who? like a couple of... I, these are like... Uh, next. Not, not <laughs> like me type of YouTubers, mm -hmm. but like photographer type of YouTubers. Like the uh. real good ones. Like the people with talent. Truly, there is no vandalism. Um, it has been put up for sale in 2017 for I believe like $11 million, which is... It's... Oh, who even has that kind of money? But even if you did, that's not all you need. It would cost them like another $50 million to restore it to a point where it's livable, to a point where it makes sense. Otherwise, you're paying $11 million for nothing. So you really just gotta have some deep, 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 deep. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Deep pockets. Like you know? grandma. Like grandma. grandma. These are all mansions with secrets. They're all mansions with a lot of weird things going on. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure a couple weird things or two or three or possibly even 10 have happened at Merge Mansion. And I'm sure if you go looking, you might find a thing or two, but that doesn't mean that grandma is bad. That doesn't mean that grandma's guilty of anything. She's grandma innocent. is literally innocent. And that is pretty much all I want you guys to know is that grandma is Innocent. And I stand with grandma. And I stand with grandma. Me too. So if you stand with grandma, hashtag we stand with grandma. Grandma is innocent. Hashtag yeah. Hashtag yeah. yeah, yeah yes, sir. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want, check out Merge Mansion in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> it's from Grandma Ursula from Merge Mansion Avenue. Grand what? It's from Grandma Ursula from Merge Mansion Avenue. Grand what?